Hello everybody and welcome back to Divinity 2 with me, Captain Compromise. Uh, what happened on the last episode? Well, we explored the delightful fields of driftwood over here. Actually quite a few uh, waypoints on this little bit of land. Uh, where we came across a void tainted scarecrow and his buddies. So we easily dispatched of them. Uh, and now we're just sort of finishing up this top part of the map before we head back over here to the ferryman across the river to Blood Moon Island. Uh, yes, and we came across this puzzle. Uh, now, after looking up this puzzle, there's one here, Hero of Summer, that we can't actually do yet. I don't believe we can anyway, because we need to create a fire cloud. And uh, for the Hero of Autumn, we need to create a static cloud. So these two, for some reason, we've done them. I know we have to create a blood surface for that, and that's to do with ice. But we're going to have to come back to this at a later time, whereby we can actually uh, create a fire cloud. We can create a static cloud now. That's not a problem. It's the fire uh, cloud that I can't do just yet. Hello. We will come and talk to you, chicken, in a moment. Oh no, I do want fame selected. <laughs> Hello, magic cockerel. Behold, cockerel! Behold! It is I, the magic cockerel. Be not frightened by my splendor! Um, magic cockerel, tell him you're impressed. Ask him how he came by his powers. Kill the w -w wizard! Raise a skeptical eyebrow. Uh, a magic cockerel, is he? That's right, cockerel! Doubt will serve you ill before the magic cockerel. Uh, say you meant no offense. None to your door, okay. Wow, invigorating stuff. Uh, yeah, we haven't, as far as I'm aware, we haven't really explored this island, so we're just going to sort of venture around, see what we can find, see what we can do, and head up and get that, um, oh no, we've got that one, this one, Halal's, Halal's, sorry, Halal's Hidden Treasure. Hmm... I have not yet had the time to go through my quest log to find out what needs doing, which is uh, part of the course, I guess. <laughs> it's uh, something I'm kind of known for. Yes, I'm going to take a look, look at this right now. Wait two weeks to do it. Uh, no, I will get around to doing that. I do want to find out what we need to continue to do to get these quests out of our log. Hello, Broken Bridge. Broken Bridge we haven't been to before. Let's turn this camera. Ooh, an apple. Paradise Downs. We have been to Paradise Downs. I don't think we've been here before though. Oh, we have definitely not been here, because I would recognise you, chest. There more than one way... No, we can get there through Paradise Downs. However, I don't... think we've got that, uh... Not, like, none of this looks familiar to me. So we definitely haven't been here. Where have we been? We've been here, I remember this. This is the scarecrows in the field with the poison from the fire. Like how... I guess we have to teleport. It doesn't look like there's any other way. So, um, we will come back to that. I want to finish doing this, the island that we're on already. Even if it does lead us to... Oh, that's empty. Oh, hello. Little secret hidden alcove. An alcove? I don't know. Wizard hat. Any secrets? 
No secrets. Uh, this episode is going to be slightly shorter today. I am a bit hard pressed for time as I'm supposed to be going out later today and I still need to get ready. Lovely cursed oil. Uh, I highly imagine there's going to be a battle here. Hello, saving. Please let me get over to these people first. Oh, go no further. We are at ritual. Do not disturb us. Uh, Constitution, mention that you'd like to see the ritual. Enter the Keep respect. Okay. Two new journal updates. Tribe of Sahelia. We found a group of tribal elves in the Coldwood Forest. They may be interested to learn what became of Sahelia. And burial rites. We have come across an elven encampment. We have been granted entrance into the elven encampment. Okay. Let's observe. Blood to blood. Earth to earth. Wood to wood, birth to birth. Sick rhyming skills. Is, is that all you're going to do? I, I can't talk to you, so... Blood to blood. No, they're just going to keep repeating that. Blood. Wood blood. to wood, earth birth to, earth. to birth. Wood to wood, birth to birth. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I see the good in you. Pop. Okay, what about you? I see you. We are in ritual for a fallen brother. You may talk to Tova. Do not break ritual. Um, <clears throat> ask her about this ritual. Our attack is repelled. Our brother, Sarius, dies in battle against lone wolves. Our ritual honors him <clears throat> and sows him in the earth for rebirth as an ancestor tree. Express your sympathies for the loss of her brother at arms. Sarius dies well. Dies as an elf warrior. Uh, ask what the elves are doing in the region. Only Tova can speak to you of this. She will decide what you should know or not. Okay. I see you. Tova, we can't talk to Tova yet because do we need to go closer? Three oh, we do. Elven warriors make ritual over the body of a fallen comrade. They're chanting low and fierce. The pain of their loss is manifest in every word. Blood to earth, to wood, to birth. <laughs> the blood of Sarius to this earth. <laughs> We're not going to blow our nose and wait for this elven nonsense to end. We're going to offer a prayer to Duna for Soria's soul. The tallest, strongest elf whom you take to be the leader, considers you for a moment. She seems to give you the benefit of the doubt and turns back to the task in hand. She places the tip of a long-bladed spear on poor dead Sarius's chest bone. Blood to earth. Her companions reach out and grasp the spear, ready to plunge it into Sarius's heart. Uh, reach out to and... Uh, no, do nothing. We were told not to interfere. The leader gives you a curious look. Then turns away. Ah. Blood to earth. Together they plunge the blade deep into Sarius's heart, then twist three times in practiced motion. Blood flows freely to the ground, and Sarius's heart lies open to the world, neatly cut in four. Blood to blood. Each warrior plucks a piece of heart and places it in their mouth. Chewing solemnly, their leader looks to you to see what you will do. Oh, follow their lead. Take a piece of heart and put it in your mouth. It tastes as raw heart meat will, with a subtle texture, slick with fast congealing blood. You feel instantly ill. The elven leader gives you a look of what you think might be approval. Sarius is a warrior, proud and true. Blood to blood, earth to earth, wood to wood, birth to birth. Sarius becomes his tree. May Sarius take root. The elves pick Sarius's bloody corpse from the ground. Tova looks to you, then shakes her head. You should not help. 
the elves send Sarius to his final resting place. Okay. His corpse rolls to a stop at the bottom of the pit. The elven leader stands and stares at her fallen comrade. Then she wipes away a tear and turns away. Okay. Ow. Uh. Very all right. Um. Okay. That's been done. Hova, where are you? Hova. The tall elf stares into the pit with dry, bloodshot eyes. Her face betraying no emotion. She does not turn toward you. Uh, two seconds. Okay, ask what her and her people are doing here. That is our business. I thank you for honouring Sarius, but perhaps it is best if you move on. Uh, we're going to go with Constitution and Hero. Tell her to wait. It seems her people have suffered a loss. You'd like to help. She nods and casts her gaze back into the pit where her comrade lies. We lose too much. We lose our homes. We lose our safety. We lose each other. She looks into your eyes, her face set in a fierce frown. It is enough. No more. Um... Tell her you understand how she feels. You have lost too much yourself. I do not doubt it. The void is too close. It pulls us all toward it. If we do not hold fast, we disappear inside it. You attempt to honour us during the ritual. You attempt to honour Sarius. You help remember him. But we need help still, or we perish here. Not only these people here, but all of us. I wonder if you honor us once more. Ask what she needs. It is something of great importance to me and to my people. Our home forests are gone. The great trees are cut to pieces. The memories inside them nearly lost. They become nothingness unless we find our scion. Uh, say you've heard of Scions before. Ask about the Scion she seeks. What is their name? Where were they last seen? She... <clears throat> she is... Sahelia. Her voice catches in her throat. She is my daughter. Her name is Sahela. Sahela? Mm. That is why we come here. That is why we lose Sarius. To find her. If she is lost, if our Scion is lost, all our people are lost. She is everything. I know where she is. Her eyes narrow, her fists clench, and her mouth tightens to a thin line. Do you know the lone wolves? Uh, nod. Then you know the risk. We come here to get her back, to bring her home. She is everything to me. She is everything to us. But Hala, you say you met her daughter while you were in Fort Joy. You, do. you speak to her. Then you understand. You see what a gentle soul she is. You see how kind. She is not only a scion, but a precious child. She cannot be lost. Uh, you'll try to find her, ask for any information that might help. You honour us. I fear it is impossible for one of my kind to enter their base. They know we are here. They expect us. She is taken by their leader, a savage man named Roost Anlong. I do not know why, but I know she must return to me. If I lose her, I cannot lose her. We plan another assault. We cannot give up. It is better for us all to die than for Sahela to be lost. I only hope perhaps you find her before then. Good luck. Okay. The Elven Seer. We have agreed to try and rescue Sahela. Uh, Roost. So, this is where we get into Ifan's stuff. So. I mean. Ah, uh, interesting. I guess we'll go through the front door. Hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. You wanna play dirty like that? You wanna play dirty?
Um, I wonder, I'm curious, does this work? Oh, no, never mind, we'll just blow it up instead. Alright, get out of the fire. Morons. Heal up again. Right, do that again, do that again. Everyone needs to be healed. Oh, hello, dead elf. Oh, 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 that bone has reminded me. You, sir, still have a head to eat. Ah, uh, nothing. Okay. Ow. Well, yeah, a bit late there, if I'm being honest with you, mate. Right, let's heal up again. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder, could there possibly be a trap over here? Walk, walk closer, walk closer. Blow it up, just blow it all up. I'm not playing your games, lone wolves. I will just blow everything up and get through myself. Even if it does take a million years. On, go away, fire, please. Off of cooldown, it is off of cooldown. Ornate chest with four gold in it, wonderful. Killer hall you had going there, guys. Ooh. Intricate ring. What are you wearing? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, uh. Oh, we'll give the staff to Ifan. We're going to give the ring to you. Place. That's the question. Oh, probably the weaker one. Hello, elf. These are lone wolves. Let me do the talking. I will let you do the talking. The grim-faced guard raises his weapon as you approach, then stops short and quickly bows respectfully. You found been missed, as I live and breathe. Didn't think we'd be seeing you again so soon, sir. Um, ask him if Roost Anlon is within. He is. He'd be glad to see you too. Glad as Roost gets anyway. He's open. You'll bring friends. He winks at you so hard and so theatrically that one whole half of his face seems to squint. Ha! Huh. Nod and move Roost past him. Roost upstairs in the big house there, sir. He's waiting for you. Reckon he's as eager to hear how you've been uh, getting on as the rest of us. Okay. Noted. You've had been missed. Coming through. A lot of people here. Hey, it's a good living here. You know that. Your living is nothing if you're unhappy. Nice tats. I'm, I'm talking about the tattoos, not the... I mean, they're nice as well, but... Forget it, forget it. Unhappy people are... Sloppy. Unreliable. Maybe that's why I ain't landed a mark in a while. I'm unhappy. Maybe I'm just an elegant uh, wizard lone wolf. Oh, I saw that through an ornate pipe. Looking fresh, gorgeous. What I wouldn't give to climb your tree. Ha, nice. So tired of these 
Uh, anything in here? What is upstairs? Uh, stuff we can steal. Oh, roost! Hello. A massive man looms over a small elf. His hair a tangle of matted knots. Scars upon scars cross every inch of visible flesh, from his hands to his gnarled face. He slurps something into his mouth, thoughtfully chews for a moment, then spits it on the ground, where it lands with a sickly splat. He don't work. For me, anyway. Right, two seconds. There we go. You try. He offers her something round and slippery, like a wet white marble in the palm of his hand. I do not defile the dead. Oh, Sahela. I knew an elf. We eat flesh to honor it, not to steal the secrets of the dead. Secrets, secrets, they're no fun. Secrets, secrets, hurt someone. Ifan clears his throat. Roost turns his face to you both and roughly wrenches the elf's jaw towards you as well. Well, look at that, elf. The silver claw is back. Ifan, oh boy. You're losing your bloody touch. Your mark, Alexander, still draws breath. He does. And my sources tell me he's headed somewhere called the Nameless Isle. I'll be setting sail there myself any day now to take him out. Your failure has put the reputation of all wolves at stake. Um. Yeah, okay. But. I suppose I might be swayed to forgiveness by the other little god woken morsels you've brought me. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Stay away from the god woken roost. They're mine. Um. Step back and let Ifan handle this. Ifan steps between you and roost, head high and hands wide. <clears throat> I can't let you take them, roost. You know me. You know you can trust me, so believe me when I say this is bigger than any contract. That's not how it works. Let the rest of the world worry about right and wrong, good and evil. Ooh. We've always had a narrower focus, and that's not about to change now. We've had good times, Ben Mist. We've had bad times, but this is the best time of all. You, just dancing a contract right into my lap. What else are friends for? Roost moves to lunge at you, but Ifan is quicker. With two steps and three stabs, he slows Roost down just long enough for you to draw... Oh, here we go. The Elven Seer. It seems that Roost was prepared for our arrival and sprung a trap. Okay, I was hoping we could get her out of here. Without having to, um, without having to do any attacking. How did that not hit? Please explain to me how that didn't hit. Ah, interesting. I think Bane should take this guy out. But the problem is, is they all have pretty good, pretty good uh, physical resistance. We'll knock down. It's not going to do anything, but we can at least whittle them down a bit. Okay, that killed him. Mm, yeah, do then. Uh, have they patched it or something? Does that no longer hit hit us? Uh, no poison. Yeah, let's do this. I've never used it before. That's actually perfectly fine. 
the contamination as well. I mean, um, what's his name here? Red Prince, he can take it. You're not trying to escape us. Nice. Ah, I wonder how this is going to go. Oh, oh, I forgot about you. Um, throw a shield at you. It hit some unseen figure as well. Interesting. Yeah, uh, that do. Sorry, Roost, I was hoping there'd be a bit more dialogue going on here. It turns out, just an arsehole. You're probably gonna die. Because you're bleeding and you're... Oh god. You're bleeding and you're poisoned. Do that. Path block? By what? Oh, it's a healer. It's a hailer, sorry. Hmm. If I do blitz, that's going to put me into... Yes, that's fine. I can take it. Blitzing would put me into the poison. I don't know why I did that. No idea why I did that. Oh. What a big old crit, wouldn't it? Oh, the chest is burning. Ah, uh, we're good, we're good. Hmm. Well, you're just going to straight up die, so... Can I get over to you? I can't. What are you blocked by? I don't stand. Uh, where are you? You are there. Wow, he's not dead. Provoke. Oh no, he's just gonna. Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was gonna die, but turns out he's not gonna die because I can't hit the bastard. There we go. Shadow. Ow, oh, we had a lot of stuff. Board. Take that. Boost. Parchment. Read. I have requested a divine order. Certain sorcerers known as God woke not to be... Uh... Right, it's just... Divine uh... order? What the devil? The contract seems to predate Alexander's ascension, too. Ooh. A scimitar. This garbage. What about this belt? Interesting. Interesting indeed. Ooh. I think we're going to give this to the Red Prince just because he's. Oh. We'll, we'll change that, we'll change that. Uh, get rid of it, get rid of it. Take the rest. Yeah, we're going to give this to your fan. Needs it more. 
Well, I guess that does mean I could give this one to the Red Prince. Yeah, why not? Uh, no. No, definitely not. Alright, uh, get the looting done quickly. Black Mirror. The surface of the mirror ripples with a sickly haze. As you gaze into its surface, the haze forms shapes and the shapes jerk into a figure. Um, okay. You see the outline of a skull, perhaps once an elf, though the flesh is all but rotted from his bones. What remains is the flat, dull color of sick. Behind the picture flickers, oh, fades, sorry. then returns in full relief. Beneath the din of the marching soldiers, or perhaps alongside it, a voice snags in your mind, like a fish hook in an open eye. Okay. It makes a demand. Tell it if you killed another Godwoken. Ask who you're talking to. The image strains and flickers again. Each time it comes into focus, a dull ache squeezes your head like a vice. Tighter, tighter, unbearably tight. The image flickers and fades to a hazy sheen once more, and the pressure vanishes. Okay. Rare prey. It seems that both the Black Ring and the Divine Order are trying to get rid of all Godwoken, but do they share the same motivation? And... Okay, okay. Hawk. There's no denying what you saw. The Black Ring itself is hunting you, or at least paying others to do so. It's impossible to tell who might be working for them. You eye your companions. Uh, let them come for us. I know who my true allies are. Man's best friend is his sword. His only friend to boot. Well, as a lone wolf with a standing contract to kill Godwoken, I trust you. Okay. Yes. Assassination contract. Uh, pact neutralization. Subject Godwoken. The master agrees to your request, Wolf. Should your word be as abiding as you claim, then you have nothing to fear from the Black Ring. Your task is simple. Eliminate Godwoken, including Lucian Spawn. Should the weasel make a squeak, we won't dictate your methods, nor will we reveal our motives. Extermination is your only concern. The Black Ring does not tolerate failure. Payment will be offered immediately upon proof of fulfillment. Okay, we'll take that. Kidnapping contract. You can find the girl in Fort Joy. Move quickly. I've heard certain sorcerers are being transformed into sourceless slaves. No doubt a scion would make a tempting candidate. Kill her cleanly, but not before extracting every morsel of useful information from her. The more signs you destroy, the heavier you'll find your pocket. You can collect your payment from me on the Nameless Isle. Get one of your other little marks to show you the way. Shadow Prince. I don't care about the rest of that. Oh. Laws of Deceit. I think that's just a law book, so I'm not going to pick it up. But right, talk to Sahela. I know you come for me again. I know you do. I know I only have to wait. Oh, oh! Actually, there's a lot of body parts there. Um, ask her if she's all right. I am fine. I am fine when I return to my people. Ask how my she escaped Fort Joy. For my mother, Sarias, the others. They take me away from there. But then the wolves come. Roost Anlon. He takes me and they cannot stop him. Uh, quickly undo their her binds. You should get out of here before more Do lone wolves show up. Now to the others? My people wait for me nearby. Tell her yes, you met her people and promised to return her the, yes. to them. Yes, thank you. I see you so clearly. I see the goodness in you. Let's go. Let's go. Take all of this. Oh, hello, we haven't done you. Bloodied arm and unidentified flesh. Give all of this to Wayne. Right. 
Speed up, fine. You are running, running, running through a barren landscape. Brambles and weeds scratch at your ankles. Your heart is pumping acid, but you can't stop. Something catches you around the chest and you fall. The roughed ground scrapes burns into the flesh of your bare arms, your knees, your face, you as you skid to a stop. Footsteps approach. That's the scion, a rough voice calls. Kill him. Okay. Oh, so did all of this come out of the dog? The wolf, so I say. They tried to hide you. They put you in a cellar. They put you in a cave. They put you in the hills. They put you in a pit. In the end, Roost found you anyway. He tried to find your memories by drilling a hole in your skull. It didn't work, but you were finally free. Okay, and the next part, the blooded arm. You are a young elf, very young. Still, the memories of Ian's dance inside you. You watch them like a play behind your eyelids. Uh, you are asleep okay. in your family home when Roost's people steal in like a plague. A hand over your mouth, a hurried journey through the forests. You won't tell Roost how to find the others. The end comes quick. Uh, and the final piece, unidentified. Okay, that did nothing. Mm, pretty sure there was another guy around here. Bodies just disappeared. Uh, mm, never mind. Let us go downstairs. Uh, sorry, give me two seconds. Right, let's go. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, of course, of course. I didn't want to fight the lone wolves. I wanted to walk out of here, no trouble. Ooh, hello. We should have gone over there. That's where... Oh, we might be able to. Yeah, we'll walk, we can walk across there. Someone or something Fletcher Corbin Day, okay. Ah, however, before we go and fight these people, I shows a lot of magic armor. Before we go and fight these people, I'm actually gonna call it an episode here. I know it's a hell of a lot shorter than some of the other episodes in the series. However, I've got a very busy day today and I need to leave my house very shortly and I'm not ready yet. So, unfortunately, this is going to be a shorter episode. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I will be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. But until then, thanks for watching.